Hello and welcome to the second part of my tutorial number 8. And in this second part of this the tutorial, I'm just going to show you uh, how to make a chase climb and how I, how I personally like to do the uh, the cam. I I don't use a chase cam because it's not the best camera ever. I I just do my own so I can have the full control of it. But um, in this tutorial, I'm going to show you show you chase cam and how do I do it on my own. So this is the same code as we left it as as uh, part one. But I've added something. I've added this geom player equals new geometry player, new cylinder five five one point four f six f, and I've basically done a basic geometry to work with. You can just copy it, uh, write it down. It's mm, it's pretty much easy to do. You can find it. In, in on gmonkin.org in tutorials like this simple to you and I made the geometry here so I can access it uh, in my whole class I've already and all I've also done is a simple update method I've also put geometry dot set local translation player dot get physics location so it will draw the geometry player at the location of the player. So yeah. And I put it on the root node. So with that done, let's make the chess car. Chase camera. Chase cam equals new chase cam mega. So the chase camera takes three things the camera, the target, and the input manager so it can listen to inputs. So if your class extends simple application, you can just do cam and you'll get it. But if this is not your class, then you will have to do like my class dot get camera. So camera as so or even if this is a class you can just do get camera. But like I'm just going to leave it as like this because it's easier to look at, in my opinion. So you you want you want to put to put it the target the geometry you want it to follow. In my case, I've created this geometry player which I want the camera to follow. I'm just going to pass it as so. And the last thing you want to pass in is the input manager. And again, if the class you are in is didn't extend simple application, we need to do like my class dot get input manager as so. Or you can do this if this is class as so. I'm going to leave it so because it's easier to look at in my opinion again okay so l the last thing we need to do to create the camera we just need to do chase cam dot set uh, what are we have uh, let me let it let, let me find it. Set the uh, smooth motion. Set J. Oh. Wait, wait, wait. Here. Yeah. Cool 
close to 2. And before we can run the game and see what it does, we need to do fly cam dot set uh, false set in a build equals false. So it's pretty simple to set it up. This is how you do it, and let's admire our work. Ooh. As you can see, I'm just left clicking to rotate around, around the geometry. And as you can see, the geometry is at the position of the invisible character that I've done. And this is a horrible geometry that I've done. But you can do it a better one. But I'm not I'm lazy, so I'm not do, going to do it. So yeah, and you can also move, as you can see, it's pretty not buggy, it's not the usual way I'm, I'm doing the camera because this like, just catch on, catch on the geometry, like it lets the geometry go go and then it follows it, so it's not the way I want to do it. So, this is the way you do it with chess cam, and now I'm going to show you the way I'm going to do it, or uh, the way I'm doing it normally in my games, in G-Monkey Engine. Okay, so first I'm going to delete this and also I'm going to delete the geometry because personally I don't need it because I'm going to work directly with the with the player the character control player So I've just cleaned up what we the mess was that I did to show you the chess cam and the way is much simpler. Just do cam dot uh set location oh need to find it location player dot get physics location. And if you do it like this, it's great because I'm the player, actually. It's not third person thing, but I can tweak it around to make it. To make it. So as you can see, I'm the player. I'm just above the ground. I'm s yeah, I mean, it's great. And now, but I wanted it to do th a third person view, like out of the player. You can just do it, add, a new, f add new vector, QF, and X, Y, and Z. I want it to be a little above the player. Um, well, um and I wanted it also to be uh a little um uh a little at the back of the player. So uh you don't see any difference now because the player hasn't and as you can see I'm I'm little higher, 50, and 60, something like that, just play with the number and you get what you like, so you can see I'm above the ground, 
and the player is somewhere uh, in this view which oh what happened oh yeah and as you, you can see for a proof of concept what the something happened I'm actually going in the terrain because I'm not grinding with the terrain so yeah So that's how you do the camera the way that I do because I like to have the full control of it so I can just easily took it around and, and and just replace this with variables and in my game I can change the variables and things I just like to have some control of it. That's why I'm doing it this way. But of course you can choose whatever way you want. can do it like with a camera node which I'm not going to explain it in this tutorial because it isn't the topic of this tutorial but um, you can find it in the collision here camera node just the same thing with a camera node, camera cam node set control direction, control direction not special to, to camera. Yeah, but this is another way to do it. But I prefer my way. So, and yeah. So that's it for this tutorial. And how to find this the big written tutorial? You can just go to monkey.org to documentations tutorials and docs and go down to something and you will see camera over here and just click on making the camera follow a character and tada you're in the page where I've learned how to do it and then I've went I went off course and didn't did it on my own because I like to have the full control of it again. So hope you enjoy my tutorials and see you see you next time. Bye.